I can't wait to show you all the best things to do in St. Louis, Missouri. I will cover the best places to see, sip, and savor in the St. Louis area, and even where to get up close and personal with the Budweiser Clydesdales, to try the St. Louis famous toasted ravioli, and other amazing places that you can't find anywhere else, including the top of the Gateway Arch. There is so much more to do than just see the arch, and I can't wait to show you all of the adventures that await you in St. Louis. Be sure to like and subscribe if you find anything in this video helpful, and please comment any questions you have or any cities that you want me to post more about. Also, check out my blog at souphia.com for a more detailed description and the can't miss St. Louis locations. Stay tuned till the end of the video for specific tips for visiting the Arch and downtown St. Louis in general. Alright, let's jump right in. First up are the things to see in St. Louis. One great place to stop during your time in St. Louis is Union Station. Not only does Union Station have a Ferris wheel, a carousel, and a mini golf course, but they also have the St. Louis Aquarium. The aquarium is the perfect activity for visitors of all ages. With many interactive exhibits and different types of animals, we spent hours in the aquarium and enjoyed learning new things. Next up is Ballpark Village. Located in downtown St. Louis, it is your one-stop shop for all things Cardinals baseball. Whether or not the Cardinals are playing, there's always something going on right across from Bush Stadium in Ballpark Village. With several restaurants and bars that have both indoor and outdoor seating, as well as the Cardinals Hall of Fame, there is fun for everyone. You can even watch a Cardinals game from the rooftop of Cardinals Nation or Budweiser Brew Pub and feel like you are watching from the stadium. But if you really want the best view, head into Bush Stadium and sit right behind home plate. No matter how high up in the stands you are, you're guaranteed to have a great view of the Gateway Arch and the skyline behind the outfield. Next up is the Sophia M. Sachs Butterfly House. This is an exciting and educational space with over 60 species of butterflies and 100 species of tropical plants within the indoor enclosure. There are also interactive activities throughout for children of all ages. If you are, if you are in the mood for some fresh air, Forest Park is an amazing place to go. Forest Park is 1,300 acres and has a natural playground, walking paths, and they also have bikes, canoes, and kayaks to rent. After checking out Forest Park, head over to the free St. Louis Zoo. Yes, that's right, it's free to enter the zoo. Also, here is a quick money-saving tip. If you park at Forest Park for free and walk over to the zoo, you can save on the $15 parking, and you can spend that on other goodies inside the zoo, such as the pina coladas served in the pineapples. Another great activity for a sunny day in St. Louis is a visit to the Lamiere Sculpture Park with nearly 70 unique larger than life sculptures, which is open daily and pet friendly. There are maps available at the front and you can go on a treasure hunt with all the different sculptures. You can even read more about the sculptures and who created them. Grant's Farm is an amazing hidden gem that you do not want to miss. After paying the $18 admission price to park, you will get on a tram where you will pass the free roaming animals such as zebra, water buffalo, and longhorns, and you will arrive at the petting zoo. There's an area where you can give milks to goats for an added cost, or you can just pet them for free. On top of that, there's camel riding, a parakeet experience, a cow milking demonstration, and for those 21 and older, you can get two free full-size samples of Anheuser-Busch beer or seltzers while relaxing in the German-inspired beer garden or looking at Anheuser-Busch memorabilia. To end your trip to Grant's farm, check out the stables by the exit of the parking lot to get up close and personal with the Budweiser Clydesdales that you may have seen in commercials. Next up on the list of places to sip in St. Louis, one of the best places for nighttime or daytime drinks is Westport Social. They offer handcrafted cocktails as well as great food, and to top it all off, you are surrounded by games from shuffleboard to basketball to ping pong to bocce ball. Live music is also an amazing feature of Westport Social, but don't worry, if the band isn't there, you can go up to sing your own songs in the karaoke suite. This is by far one of the best places to watch the game on TV or play your own game. Anheuser-Busch Brewery is a can't-miss destination when visiting St. Louis. 
Regardless of whether or not you enjoy their products, such as Budweiser, Stella Artois, or Shock Top, the brewery tour is a great opportunity to marvel at the 1850s architecture, enjoy the history, get educated about the brewing process, or even meet the world-famous Budweiser Clydesdales. The perfect way to end your tour at the Anheuser-Busch Brewery is by heading to the brew house for a free sample and enjoying a great meal. Next up are the places to savor in St. Louis. The Foundry Bakery is extremely popular with the locals and I could definitely tell why. They have a self-serve bakery with traditional Taiwanese inspired baked goods with a twist. They offer very customizable drink options like boba tea and coffee, and this is the kind of place that makes you want to keep coming back for more and more. Next up, City Foundry Food Hall features chefs from around St. Louis, creating dreamy desserts, dinners, drinks, and everything in between. With nearly 20 different options, there is something that everybody can enjoy. One of the best dinner restaurants in St. Louis is located in The Hill. The Hill is St. Louis's historic Italian neighborhood and one of the biggest landmarks. Mama's on the Hill is certainly worth visiting. Mama's has amazing Italian food and wines and is the birthplace of the St. Louis famous toasted ravioli. Next up is Blueberry Hill. Blueberry Hill is the St. Louis landmark where music history gets made. Walking around, you will see all the photos of the great musicians that have been to Blueberry Hill, as well as tons of pop culture memorabilia. The jukebox inside had also been named the number one jukebox in the world. Oh, and the food is great too. If you're in the area of Blueberry Hill, stay on Del Mar Road and head over to Moonrise Hotel. Moonrise Hotel's Eclipse Restaurant and Twilight Room Rooftop Bar are definitely worth visiting if you are in the area. The moon on top of the boutique hotel initially drew us in and we decided to have some drinks at the rooftop bar after dinner and we were not disappointed. 360 is one of my favorite places to eat in St. Louis. It is located on top of the Hilton Hotel and it has amazing food and drinks as well as, you guessed it, 360 degree views of the city from above. We went as soon as they opened at 4 p.m. so that we would be there for sunset and so that we could have first dibs on seating. It is 100% seat yourself and you can sit anywhere unless the area is marked as reserved. We were even able to sit in our own private patio because nobody had sat there yet. So that's a good tip to know when you go to 360 that just because an area looks reserved, it might not be. Now what we've all been waiting for, the Gateway Arch. The Gateway Arch is a must-see attraction when visiting St. Louis. Be sure to buy your tickets to the tram ride to the top online before visiting since they typically sell out fast the day of. If you do not want to ride the tram up to the top of the arch, there's an entire museum about the history of the arch as well as a gift shop and a cafe. If you do go to the top of the arch though, you will ride up for about four minutes in a tram inside the arch and then once you get to the top, you can look out the window and see the view of downtown St. Louis and the view of the Mississippi River from 630 feet in the air. Oh, and by the way, the best place to park is the garage that says Arch Parking, right across from Ballpark Village. It is definitely in the best location and is very safe. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you found this video helpful, and leave a comment below on the things that you're excited to do and see in St. Louis. Also, you can let me know if you have any questions, either in the comments or in my inbox.